Na mtazamaji wa kijiri Kinara wa Azimio Raila Odinga amekosoa makanisa kukaa kimya kufuatia mashambulizi ya serikali dhidi ya idara ya mahakama. Na Odinga ambaye alihudhuria ibada katika kanisa la SK mjini Kisumu amesema ipo haja ya dini mbalimbali kujitokeza na kusimama na haki mbele ya umma. Na Steven Leto na taarifa hiyo kwa kina. wa ODM Raila Odinga aliungana na gavana wa Kisumu Profesa Peter Nyangnyongo. Ria ibada ya Jumapili ya mwisho kabla ya siku ya kuzaliwa kwa babake Odinga Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. Ni hapa ambapo Odinga alikosoa dhehebu mbalimbali za dini kwa kukaa kimya serikali inapoendelea kuhujumu demokrasia nchini. I am proud member of the Anglican Church. But Sometimes I feel embarrassed to when I see the Anglican Church silent in the face of a lot of what you can call uh, immorality and unfairness in society. Ninga ambaye aliandamana na viongozi mbalimbali kutoka kaunti ya Kisumu ameongeza kuwa kanisa na dini mbalimbali zinafaa kusimama kidete na kutetea wananchi dhidi ya uongozi mbaya. Matamshi ya Odinga yanajiri huku mashambulizi dhidi ya mahakama ya kigonga vichwa vya habari kila kuchao. Serikali ya Kenya kwanza imekuwa ikiendeleza matamshi dhidi ya majaji wa mahakama wakiwataja kuwa wafisadi na wanaotumika kuhujumu ajenda ya serikali. Remember Bishop Mugwe. Remember Bishop Kitani. There the clergy that were prepared to stand up and speak the truth at the time when to speak the truth was actually seen as prison. But they spoke the truth to power. Sasa Odinga na kosoa makanisa nchini kwa kuwapa viongozi nafasi ya kutumia madhabahu kutoa matamshi ya chuki na kuwaada wa Kenya. The people who are masquerading as true Christians people who are talking about liberation liberation the people from poverty from ignorance and so on have time to be the oppressors of the people and the church needs to speak Stephen Leto Runinga ya Citizen